Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today, uh, I'm drawing Tomb Raider. Uh, I wanted to talk about Tomb Raider a little bit because the movie is coming out soon and uh, I wanted to get in the spirit uh, of Tomb Raider. It, it is something I grew up with. I've played most of the video games, except for the latest one. But um, yeah, it's Tomb Raider is a character that's been part of my life uh, since I was a kid. And... Um, also, I, I've been trying to practice drawing women more often. Uh, anytime I do a sketch uh, for fun, I try to make sure it's a woman because uh, if you look at one of my older videos, uh, my Wonder Woman was pretty uh, manly looking. And so I've been trying to uh, practice women nonstop. Uh, and I wanted to draw a Tomb Raider for the longest time, but I didn't know if I should draw the original Tomb Raider uh, from the 90s or if I should draw the new Tomb Raider with the bow. Uh, I know she got the guns at the end of uh, the new Tomb Raider game, but uh, I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I kept trying to draw her like extending the bow, you know, jumping in the jungle, stuff like that. And it just wasn't really working out. And uh, the design, I kept trying to go with like a a simple design where it's just her shorts and shirt and a bow but uh, finally I got a drawing that I was uh, somewhat happy with her face is a little weird uh, but that's that's the case with all my drawings I need to really work on my faces and I'm probably gonna start uh, focusing on that this month if not that I'll probably start focusing on robots this month if you have a robot or something like that that uh, you think I should draw let me know um, but eventually, uh, as far as this drawing goes, I said I'm just going to draw her how I want. I was trying to overthink it. Uh, I'm just going to give her my own design. I didn't really use any reference. I kind of just did what I wanted. Uh, I added some details on the, the hands. I had her wearing like some straps or bandages on her, on her hands just to add more detail. Uh, and I did end up adding the guns, but I have her holding the bow and instead of giving her the wooden bow I gave her like a One of those upgraded bows. I don't know what's called torque bow, but I I have no idea and I drew the arrow pack on her back and I put her in the shorts uh, So she has a little bit of everything. I also gave her her pistols, but I gave her the pistols from the movie which I did recently uh, Watch. I wanted to rewatch the original Tomb Raider movie uh, from like 2000 or something like that. And people will give a lot of hate to video game movies, but most video game movies uh, entertain me. Besides uh, some of the Resident Evil movies, uh, most video game movies, I don't know. They're they're cheesy, but they're fun. Uh, Tomb Raider, especially, it's very cheesy. In the beginning of the movie, it starts off. Uh, just like absolutely ridiculous there's like a robot that shows up in the beginning for no reason and like the first 30 minutes of the movie are trying to show how badass Laura Croft is uh, by just having her act completely ridiculous and stuff like that but the movie even though it's like cheesy the action is actually very entertaining and it has has a bit of a charm to it so it wasn't it wasn't too bad it's actually a pretty good movie uh, but the movie, it's, so like I said, it starts off pretty ridiculous, but as the movie goes on, it gets pretty serious as uh, the story gets a little bit more serious. Laura Croft, she goes from being like a complete badass to like very emotional and uh, trying to reconnect with her dad. Or well, not reconnect with her dad, but trying to like reconnect with her inner child, I would say because she's trying to resist the temptation of like bringing her dad back to life in the movie. And so I think that's really interesting. But the cinematography also gets a lot more serious towards the end as well. And then it's kind of funny because after the bad guy is defeated, uh, she just it just goes straight back into cheesy, cheesyville. But overall, I think this is going to be one of my favorite video game movies now. Now that I'm older, I understand more. And it's just fun. Uh, the villain in that movie was... He was just a jerk, dude. He was just like killing everybody. There's a part where a statue monster throws an axe at him. And it's flying at him kind of slow. 
and instead of just dodging it, he grabs one of his henchmen and uses him as a shield. And then, after he, the guy dies, he drops him to the floor, and then another statue throws an axe, and then this time, he dodges it. Like, he could've dodged it the first time. Like, why do you have to kill the other guy for no reason? Yeah. That was pretty ridiculous. Another ridiculous part would be, there's a scene towards the end where, uh, not to get too spoilerish, but there's like this, uh, this floating orb that is like a time distortion bubble and there's these guards and there's a guard dog and the guard lets the dog off the leash off a leash and he's like go get it boy and it's just like what's he gonna go get it's a it's literally a time anomaly floating in the air what's the dog gonna go get and so the dog runs into it and then you see the dog coming apart like his skin comes off and then you see his meat and then you see his bones and I'm just like what the heck did they just kill this dog for no reason and then and then he comes out the other end of the orb and then he comes back together and I'm just like what was the point of that you just wanted to show a defleshed dog I don't know that was pretty cool though <laughs> even though even though it was really weird I was like okay whatever you say yeah but overall the movie is pretty good uh, the series, I've had a lot of memories with. I played the first one a lot of times. The second one... The second one, I have more memories of the training area. I don't know if that's the first one or second one, but there's... Either, either in the first one or the second one, there's a training area, and there's this old man following you around while you're jumping around your mansion. Which, uh... Which was fun. So I'll just play that non-stop. Uh, a lot of the other games... I don't know, I got scared in most of them. There was one that involved aliens and I kind of got freaked out. There was one that involved like an orb. I don't know. I always get scared whenever there's like monsters and supernatural stuff, so yeah. But one of my most fond memories is probably the uh, the one where, there, where you're in like a jungle and there's dinosaurs. Yeah, I have a lot of memories with that. But anyways, that's enough of me ranting. Back to the drawing. Um. Earlier I said I didn't really use reference, uh, I guess for the base, like for Lara Croft herself I didn't use any reference, I just kind of drew her how I wanted her. But the uh, the bow I used reference, and the pistols I used reference from the movie. Um, as far as practicing women goes, I've, I've just went on Google, I found as many pictures of like women characters as I can. And I've been spending a lot of time either tracing other images, or just copying the poses uh, to kind of get those down. So that's basically how I study. I, e I either trace or I just copy. And then after I'm done tracing, I'll go ahead and do it with no reference to kind of to imprint it on my brain. Uh, but I don't know. As far as practicing goes, maybe I'll do that in another video if anybody wants to know. But tell me what you think of uh, Tomb Raider. Tell me if you have any suggestions. Uh, for a drawing, uh, the new Tomb Raider movie is coming out. It actually it looks pretty cool. Like it looks action action packed, but they've done a good job not showing too much dialogue. Uh, but let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah, pretty much.